एवरीवन दिस इज करी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेनिंग यू स्टेप वाइज लोडिंग एंड इंपोर्टिंग डेटा इन पावर बी After creating the data connections in Power BI, what next? What options available in the data window? We have two options in data window: load and transform data. When we need to choose load option, when we need to choose transform data option. in load when the data is cleaned data when data is optimized data when data is structural data when data is shaped data then we need to choose load option that means whatever data we are getting from database team directly we are loading with the help of load option in power bi when we need to perform any transformation then we need to choose transform data why we need to do transformation when the data is not clean data when data is not optimized data when data is not structural format when the data is not shaped data then that time we need to perform some transformation to clean up the data this cleaning process will be available or will we are going to doing in the power query editor to transform the data before loading into power bi using query editor i will explain you how and when we need to choose these two options so i have one data file with my laptop this is cleaned data file table is totally cleaned there is no blank values there is no null values there is no empty rows in this particular table so this table is clean data then directly we can load this table into our power bi with the help of load option see here there is no null values everything is clean this is a structural format only so shaped format this will directly load in first option with the help of first option we can load it coming to unstructural format see this table is unstructural format columns names are not available in the first position and some places we have empty rows in some places we have null values or some garbage values we need to clean up this all things then only this is come become structural format so this all we are going to performing in query editor also called as a power query editor power bi is having a very powerful etl tool inside it which is known as a power query editor the power query editor was built on the power query engine and power query editor uses a functional language is called as a m m stand for mashup means clean up or cleaning or that is the case sensitive nature so i will explain you i will show you how to we are we are going to performing cleaning process in power bi 
So I will open that one Power BI window. First we need to establish the connection, data connection. Then whatever options available based upon the, our data structure, we are going to choose either load or either transform data. Transform data means we are going to performing some editing. So I am choosing blank PBX file. Here I am going to connecting the data with the help of data, get data option. Then you can choose the get data option. Then select Excel workbook. Because my file is Excel format, so that's why I'm choosing Excel workbook connection. Then I'm selecting the distribute file. Here we are getting after connection or data connection established. I need to choose these are different tables available, different sheets. Also, we are saying that tables. I am going to choosing this load sheet related data in my power BI. This is clean data. There is no null values. There is no blank values. No need to perform any transformation. Directly, we need to upload the particular table into power BI. And with the help of that one, we are going to creating one visualization or someone dashboard one report so we need to choose in this case there is no blank this is structural data shaped data so that's why we need to choose load option when i'm clicking load option that loading process will be happen and the particular table related information will be stored on pbix file because now we are using import option because Excel or test related tables or whatever the data sources are there that the data sources not having direct query option. So whatever file I loaded here that is all options will be available. With the help of this one you can directly you can build any visualization like I am going to pulling one table. In this table, I am going to adding the employee ID and employee name, full name and title. These three directly I am adding in my table. Like that, we can create different type of visualization with the help of this data. Second option, when my data is not structural format, what steps I need to follow? Again, you can go to get data option, select the specific what data source is available for to performing that operation. I'm having Excel format, so I'm I choosing that one option. Then I'm selected that particular table or sheet. Then I'm going to selecting the edit sheet I want to load in my Power BI. So here, this is not structural format. So that's why I need to choose transform data or editing data option. When I'm selecting this one, it will navigate it to Power Query Editor. This is Power Query Editor. Already we discussed whatever options available in that in this window. This everything we clearly explained. Here we have this is a ribbon or toolbar. This all option will ribbon and toolbar. This is the table viewer or data viewer, and this is called as the query path, and this is the this is that formula bar, this total line is formula bar, this is M code and this is the applied steps, applied steps component, 
this is the property component these are six main components available in the power query editor we will see in practical section in each and every option how it will work for time being now we are going to performing some transformation particular table what transformation we need to perform here whatever first column names are there that is not the column name so first we have to first whatever table row is there now this particular first row it become column name so i need to promote this particular row first row into the row header then i need to choose use first row as the header option then it will promote the first row value into the row headers now these are column names are correct that this particular step will added in our applied step because whatever operation we are done that particular operation related uh, entry will be happened here whatever steps you are whatever operations you are doing in the the table that all will be recorded in this particular applied step window now i want to remove some column the null values in my table then i need to choose i need to remove the particular option null values related entry in my table then i need to click open then null values related information gone out again i have some places some you see here last name some places we have some numbers this is garbage values i don't want this column we need to confirm the client to this particular column is valid or not then they will once we will get the confirmation from the client then then we need to remove the particular column particular row values in our in our table so i am going to removing that particular column rows related information enter row i need to remove from the my table then i am cell un unchecked that particular particular option and click the okay then the particular enter row will will exclude in our table and sometimes i want to change the the data the whatever data types available here i want to change the data types here you can select the data type and you can change the data type also see in this table i have in the employee id is the data type is the, the combination of both so mean the test and the number format i want is this particular column in whole number data type so number type so then i need to choose i need to change the particular data type then you can select this drop the drop down available once you are clicking here it will be show you that whatever data types available in power bi that option will be available you can choose that whatever data type you are going to convert you can choose that one it will be converted into that particular number part this is one step whatever steps we are operations we are done the information was done that all will entry will be available here when we want to go back the particular previous screen then you can choose here it will be changed so the data type changes was happen and in my table i want only dedicated column i don't want all column this is all becomes optimization stuff so we will discuss optimization stuff related concept in upcoming section so i want only that few things full name and employee id and region i need own and gender this four columns only i want so i don't want remaining things then you can select the choose column option and you can select the dedicated column uh, check box then you can click on that one okay then the whatever the in whole table we have multiple column but i need only for few columns then you can choose the four column then click okay i want to split this part specific table the specific column into two columns the first name and last name then you can choose select that particular column and click the split column of op the option then you can click the by delimiter option automatically it will be considered the comma is the delimiter 
based upon the delimiter you can uh, you have dash then you can select the dash option and such options also available and in this data we have comma is the separator so i am using comma option then i am clicking that one the particular column is now split out into two columns first this is the column one and this is the column two like that you can do some transformation and you want to change the column name you can directly you can click double click and you can enter the new name of the column and you can select that other column name also double click on that last name like that also you can change your column names and different type of operations available we will discuss detail about it each and every related option with the single click you can without writing any m code we will discuss m code related topic in upcoming section where exactly whatever operations i, the, I already performed in my the table that all will be available in advanced editor option you can click advanced editor option whatever steps you have done this all this is the m code m code related stuff this all will whatever task whatever operation you have done everything will be recorded here okay now i will explain you this this particular section in detail in upcoming section after that everything is done transformation everything as i need to load the particular table into my power bi then what we need to perform you can click here tab is the close close and apply option is there you can click this one and you can click close and apply option then it will be whatever data transformation related data the finalized file is there not table is there now we are we are directly we are loading into our power bi this is the whatever table uh, the transformation were done that particular information will be available we already uh, we we choose and only for that uh, few five columns four columns after that we split it out into that main column full name into that first name and last name that will be available here and i want to create any any kind of uh, what we are saying i am going to creating one visualization with the help of that data you can select this employee id column you can pull here then first name you can click and you can pull that particular column into our the the particular place then it will this is the whatever that a uh, columns available whatever with that uh, visualization we want to see here whatever chart we we want to perform whatever, whatever chart we we need to show in our uh, front end that all based upon the data you can create different type of visualization thank you for watching we will discuss detail related detail explanation about each and every topic in upcoming section thank you for watching